Greetings, Vinyl Community! Welcome to my Music Room Tour 2021. I think this is my third or fourth Music Room Tour that I've done. Things are very different from my last one, so if you've uh, seen my prior ones, uh, there's some surprises you might see. If you've never seen one of my Music Room Tours and you're in for uh, something, I hope you like it. <laughs> so th this will all be new to you if you've not seen my Music Room Tours before. Um, stay to the end please, because uh, there's some stuff at the end I'll, I, I want to talk about. So we'll go through my equipment, we'll go through my vinyl collection, not literally, we'll look at it. And uh, like I said, at the end, there'll be a little bit of a wrap up where I probably want to talk about a few things. So uh, without further ado, cheers everyone. And let's get right to it. This is Music Room Tour 2021. All right, vinyl community, welcome to my Music Room Tour 2021. Uh, for those of you who have seen my music room tours in the past, the only thing that's going to be different for you all is right over there and probably behind that curtain over there, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, let's pretend that you've not seen one of my music room tour videos in the past. We're going to start as uh, you're coming down my stairs into my music room. Well, first of all, someone's going to have to have let you in my house, unbeknownst to me, and you've come down my stairs and I'll be sitting over there somewhere. And I'll turn my head to you and I'll say, who are you? Get out of my house. But let's pretend today that I've invited you in my house. You come down the stairs and here you are. Here's my music room. Uh, we're going to be quick with this beginning part because I think that area over there is probably what everyone wants to see, I'm guessing. So this is, uh, yeah, I'll just take you through it. We've got some uh, wall art, as some people call it. I think this is different from last time, and I think this is different from last time, but I think that's the same. Uh, let's see, we got some blinding lights, I apologize for that. Some CDs, more CDs. My Shays Lounge, how uh, international of me. Uh, some more CDs over here. We got my Oasis poster over here, and we have my guitar, my latest guitar over here. Uh, right over here is we have my TV, which I don't really use a whole lot, but what I've added since last time is a pair of Riga speakers. I don't know the model number, so I apologize, but they're Riga, and they have, let's see, they have uh, speakers in the side there as well. So that's been a new addition to my uh, TV setup here. Um, what else to show you? That's the same, this is all the same. So this is an initial just view as you're coming down my stairs, and here it is. So now we're gonna take a cut and we're gonna have a look at this area over here. So this is my stereo setup for 2021 or until I get a bug up my ass and I have to start swapping things out again because I'm so bored because of COVID and there's nothing to do, which is how I've kind of arrived at this setup right here. Uh, but having said that, right now, this is the, probably the best sounding system I've had in a long, long time, maybe ever. So, uh, but this is what I'm gonna run right now for a while. And we're going to go through this one by one. Uh, there's a couple things, if you've seen my room tour videos before, that are the same. Um, there are two static pieces that will always remain in my system. And if you've never seen one of my videos, this is all brand new for you. So, um, yeah, and I want to preface a couple things here. We're gonna, oh, first of all, we're going to talk about my speakers today, which I've never done in a room tour video before, only because I've just plain forgotten. So we're going to talk about my speakers for the first time. And also... A lot of what I've added, is it needed? Nope. Is it necessary? Nope. Is it fun? Yes. And that, to me, that's the whole point of uh, having having a stereo setup. It's just playing with things, having fun things, like have it be fun uh, and functional at the same time. So that's what I've done. So before, you, some people might say, well, pff, I know, why are you adding that or why do you have that? It's just, it's just fun. That's all it is. So we're going to start right here. We're going to start with my main turntable, which is my Moran's 6200 which most of you have seen before with the acrylic platter on it. And right now I'm running an MP110 cartridge. Uh, this being my main table for a few years now, and uh, I don't ever foresee me swapping this out permanently for something else. I just love this turntable paired with my receiver, which leads me to my receiver, which is, which is my Moran's 1530. The 30 in the 1530 means 50, uh, sorry, 30 watts per channel, which is not um, a ton of power, 
but it's very clean sound, which I love. So um, I don't have the biggest room ever, so I don't need a ton of power, but um, the Marantz receiver and turntable will probably stay in my system for a long time to come. Everything else, uh, I think, might be brand new additions this year. Um, you know what, let's start with the speakers before, <laughs> before I forget again. What I'm running for speakers this year, uh, and I'm probably gonna be running these for a while now, is I've been running a pair of Tenoy. or using that they have not actually literally been running but uh, what I've been using is a pair of Tanoi made in the UK Elise or Elise 2's I can't I don't know how to pronounce that but anyways that's what I'm running or using love these speakers and I think this is probably one of the reasons why I'm really liking my system right now these speakers are are really good speakers that uh, um, really pair well with my system um while I'm down here, I'm using a designed by Andrew Jones Pioneer Sub, which for the money is absolutely fantastic. You can't lose with anything Andrew Jones does for Pioneer. For the money, it's incredible value, and it's a great sub, and I love it. I cannot highly more recommend this, if that makes sense, if, or if that's even English. Um, I can't recommend this more. Uh, great sub for the money. And while I'm down here, this is my main power source, which is a monster HDP 1800, which to keep things, uh, which it, it keeps it pretty clean at uh, 120, which it needs to be. I think it's 120 volts in Canada, isn't it? It better be or I'm in trouble. Uh, you know, let's start with this. These are all brand new additions since my last room tour video is uh, a DBX 228 audio expander and decoder uh, I only have a couple DBX vinyl right now but they sound absolutely fantastic the expander is a lot of fun to play with it gives things a little bit more of a round sound uh, to it hence the word expander but that's a recent addition is the DBX 228 uh, audio expander uh, and decoder for DBX vinyl and I have a particularly I have a copy of heart dreamboat Annie on DBX vinyl and it sounds fantastic so that's, uh, that's a lot of fun that I've added to my stereo system right there. And also the Sansui RG7X uh, equalizer. But that's not the reason why I bought it. There's a lot of people who are pro-equalizer. They're anti-equalizer. It's all up to the individual. I didn't buy it for that because sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. It's depending how I feel. I bought it for this. Their reverberation unit right there. Pure, pure eye candy. Do I need it? Nope. Is it fun to look at while stuff's playing? Absolutely. Uh, so that's why I bought it for the reverb unit and the equalizer on top of it. It's just a little addition to it. Like I said, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Depends what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, this is my preamp I'm using. It is a Mies P50. If I can get this without glaring. There we go, Mies P50 preamp. It's not the highest end one. It's not the lowest end one. It's sitting there in the middle somewhere. Really good preamp. Uh, it was recommended to me by a stereo shop in town here, and uh, it was a great recommendation. I really like this preamp. Uh, let's go over here. This is a brand new addition to my stereo setup, is this thing here. It's a Joytech uh, JS, what is it, 965C audio controller. Basically, if you don't know what this is for, is if you have a vintage receiver, but not enough inputs for all the things you want to play through it, you can add one of these controllers and everything runs through it and you can play multiple units off of let's say your your auxiliary channel um, which I do I have way too many things for what I have for inputs here so I've added that recently and it's been great it's given me a lot more um, versatility for what I have in my stereo setup and then I have a Marantz uh, SD221 tape deck which is not the highest end Marantz tape deck it, it'll do for now I don't play tapes a whole lot but it plays metal tapes so it's a it's a decent quality one not the best quality one, but that'll suffice for now. Uh, moving along, um, these are the funnest things I've added to my stereo setup. Well, not this, but I'll explain this in a second here. Right there, not this one. This one, this is a Yamaha MDX595, and what is that? It's a mini disc player. Um, I just, you know what? I've been loving getting things that I missed out the first time when they came out. 
Uh, either I couldn't afford it or they weren't really available where I lived. This came available and I jumped all over it. It's just been fun to play with mini discs. Uh, yes, it's a dead format, but you can still get blank mini discs. It's like I said, just pure fun. And the unit sitting on top is a, um, it's a Blu-ray player, but it plays DTS um, CDs, which I have a lot of. It's a uh, SA CD player as well. So when I play SA CDs and I want to record them onto mini disc, that's what I can use there. Um, so yeah, the mini disc player has been a lot of fun to play with, as well as the DBX unit and the um, reverb unit. Over here is a beautiful, you see how, how that's nice and brushed? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Is a Moran's SA8001 SA CD player. And I've been buying a lot of SA CDs lately. The sound is fantastic. I absolutely love this. It plays normal CDs as well. But um, it's been a lot of fun getting SA CDs. And, and the sound, like I said, the sound is absolutely fantastic, which is what uh, I got. I pretty much got that for. Um, I'm just looking around here. A lot of people like to know this. Um, everything was thrift store except for the turntable, I believe. I believe so. Oh, I paid full full pop for that as well. But everything else, I believe, has been thrift store finds. So that's my stereo setup I'm going to be using uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, I didn't show this in the in the beginning part. This rack here is my metal and punk vinyl. That's the overflow for things I can't fit in there. Uh, this whole rack here is uh, shared CDs for Depeche Mode for mine and my wife's. These are just all of our CDs. Um, what else I got over here going on? Oh, I got Metallica. Uh, Mr. Rotten over there. I got some uh, Shaun of the Dead, which I think you've seen before. Some cassettes. My original Fonzie doll from 1977. This is where Roger Waters' autographed poster used to sit, or used to hang, sorry. I've moved that into my music room, and this is my original uh, Songs of Faith and Devotion tour poster from Depeche Mode. Uh, see some bobbleheads, a Kiss poster, which has a longer story um, to it than I can tell right now. So that's what I got going on right now. I'll take a wide view of my stereo. And that's what I'm using in 2021. Any questions, please let me know in the comments. But you know what? We've got one more room to do right here. That's my vinyl room, and we're going to go into there right now. This is my music room, or welcome to my music room, everyone. Uh, for those who have seen uh, my other video um, tours of my music room will be familiar with this room. There's not a whole lot different other than there's lots more records. So, <laughs> so this I have a whole separate room for my records. Uh, this is the aforementioned Roger Waters autograph poster that we used to hang by my turntable, but now it's in here. Um, yeah, this is it. Uh, like I said, I have that rack outside there that you all seen with metal and punk. But uh, I know I get requests to show my box sets, so we'll start there in the music room. So I'll just run through these box sets. Uh, Iron Maiden, 90 to 2015. Iron Maiden, uh, 80 to 98. There's Bowie. Well, three Bowies, I think. Yeah, that's um, one of those record store day ones. The Slayer box set. A um, couple of Oasis. Actually, two Oasis, three, four Oasis. This is Stop the Clocks and this one. What is this one again? The Singles? It's rare anyways, whatever it is. Uh, Oasis Original Master Plan 10-inch box set. Peter Gabriel uh, box set for So. Uh, Spando Ballet for their second album called Diamond. I believe it was their second album. Uh, what is this? This is... Um, sorry. Jack White at... at uh, what is it? Bonnaroo? Something like that. Human League box set. Uh, I love this one. This one here. If you can see behind all the plastic there. Human League, a very British synthesizer group. It's a half-speed master at 45 RPM. Beautiful box set. I think it's four albums. The Complete Ramstein discography box set. Pantera, same thing. Uh, this is the first Rush album that was re-released as a box set. Led Zeppelin Celebration Day. We got Metallica da uh, Death Magnetic box set. Uh, this is, uh, what is this one? This was a thrift store find, if some people might remember. Metallica, The Good, The Bad, and The Live uh, singles box set. Uh, that's a Metallica 
discography box set, which you know I can always show you, you all if, if people ask me to. Uh, Hardwired, that's the newest album uh, box set. And Justice for All deluxe box set. Ride the Lightning deluxe box set. Um, Through the Never deluxe box set. What is this one? Oh, Queen. This one is uh, News of the World 40th anniversary box set. Ooh. Um, inside there, you can see the crag there. <laughs> now I've buried it. That's a T Rex live at the BBC box set. That's a T Rex. Doesn't say in the spine there, but it's a T Rex uh, complete discography. Uh, Dexter Gordon box set, Pink Floyd. Um, that's the very first box that they ever did of all their remastered CDs and book and all that. Uh, Fleetwood Mac box set. What is this one here? Oh, that's another uh, Third Man box set. Uh, live at the, what is it, Gold, Gold Dollar. There you go. Uh, Suede, the uh, rare complete discography box set. This is a Kiss complete singles box set. Uh, what is this? Depeche Mode, greatest hits box set. This one here is, oh, that's the Depeche Mode really rare uh, remix box set. Um, I have two of those. One, two. Um, greatest hits box set. That's a, I have two copies of the Depeche Mode Sounds of the Universe box set. Uh, Dave Bowie's uh, Space Oddity 50th Anniversary box set, which I haven't opened yet. Gong box set, uh, The Tears for Fears. This is a Canadian only box set. Was The Tears for Fears, The Seeds of Love collection. Basically, it came with one single, I think The Seeds of Love, then he had to buy the other singles and put them in. And it comes with uh, portraits of Roland and Kurt from the Tears for Fears and a bunch of other goodies. That was Canadian only, I believe. That's a Queen uh, book. Um, that I got for Christmas a couple years ago, which I love. Garth Brooks box set. Springsteen Live box set. This is a Ramon singles box set that came up for Record Store Day. Oh, what else I got? Oh, Chic, uh, the complete 12 inch uh, single uh, box set. That's the U2 Songs of Innocence box set or whatever. Which one, which one was that? You guys know which one it was. Uh, yes, the Steven Wilson box set, which I love. Beastie Boys, uh, if you go back on my Instagram, you'll see me uh, holding this outside of a uh, thrift store. Uh, the Beastie Boys Anthology, Sounds of Silence. Super rare box set, which I got at a thrift store. In the shrink still. Sex Pistols singles box set, 7-inch box set. The Mighty T-Rex singles box set. And then back here, I have a... I've had a subscription to the magazine um, Classic Pop now since the beginning, so that's all the issues of Classic Pop. Not in order. Close, but not in order. It's my favorite magazine. Whatever. I love it. Uh, over here we have the Miles Davis kind of blue box set, which has the blue vinyl. Uh, the Paranoid uh, Black Sabbath box set, which I got for Christmas. And this I bought just before Christmas was the Lush box set that came out for Records Today um, a few years back. And I can't believe I have this one. I've been wanting this one forever. Uh, on top here are all my seven singles. Not all of them because there's a, a box back out in the living room. I think I'll show you guys after this. But um, yeah, there you go. I'll try to pan over or give the long view of all my seven singles. I believe the end one is all metal. I believe. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, ACDC Highway to Hell. So that's uh, all metal, I believe. I was hoping to get a uh, picture sleeve. There we go. Cats and Boots, Japanese single. Yeah, there you go. That's all metal. Um, yeah. That's the uh, classic Maxell tape poster, uh, which I found framed at a thrift store. I want to move it into my main room, which I'll probably do in the next little while. So let's back up here and I'll kind of give you a little tour of how I keep my vinyl. First of all, on the floor, <laughs> uh, yeah, all the records that I can't fit into my racks. And since I don't do vinyl finds videos anymore, um, I have no one to show but myself, but look what I found. Vertical Swirl. So 
So as you can see, just a few that I can't fit into my racks. Um, right here we have um, a thrift store turntable I found about three, four weeks ago. The tag on it said as uh, as as is for parts only, and all it was was the belt was broke. So I took the turntable off, cleaned the belt off, got a new one. It came with a brand new Audio Technica cartridge, brand new. Uh, what is it? It's a Marantz 6025. And I'm not keeping this one. I'm going to have to uh, sell this one. But yeah, we'll keep that between ourselves. Um, those are my DJ singles. This big box right here. DJ book. Uh, DJ more singles for DJing, which I haven't done because of COVID. Um, while, while we're doing this, I'm going to grab a drink. We're all friends, aren't we? I can have a drink while we're doing this. All right, so how I keep my records stored is, um, which I've said many, many times ad nauseum, I worked and owned record stores, either worked, managed, and then owned record stores. So I'm so used to uh, filing by genre, and that's kind of how I do it. So uh, metal and punk are in the other room, and here we go. This is all rock and pop, as you can see here. Rock and pop, rock and pop. And then we go into uh, various. Those bottom two ones that you can't see there, which I'll point with my foot, those are all. One, one cube is various compilations and one is soundtracks. So rock, pop. And it's all relative what rock and pop is. It's my records and I'll file it how I want. <laughs> 80s. I keep my 80s separate because to me it's a whole different thing. Uh, I could keep them in pop, but you know, sometimes when I'm pulling records for DJing, uh, it's handy to have them just in one spot. If I'm getting an itch, I want to scratch it. I don't want to be looking through all my records for uh, my 80s things. It's all in four cubes here. So 80s here. One, two. Once again, 80s is all relative. It's, it's a relative thing to, uh, you know to how you want to classify things, but that's that. Down here is kind of like my prog, um, space rock stuff. Some psych, some of the psych I, the pop psych, I just put in with rock pop, but you know. Where is it? Got Amon Duel, Atomic Rooster, Genesis, tons of Hawkwind. This whole cube here is almost Hawkwind. Um, Pink Floyd's all down here, which you know, you could argue, but once again, it's my filing. It's my stuff. Uh, jazz over there. And then what we got here, like I guess this is kind of a wacky filing system, but it's mine and I like it, so I'm going to keep it this way because uh, I know where everything is. This is um, kind of true alternative music from back in the day, goth, um, industrial. Uh, mm, kind of stuff like that so like you know, got apop take my berserk and bauhaus uh the cure the cult um i cheated and put the damned here because i didn't have any room in my punk <laughs> section so i put the damned here by default uh just because of the phantasmagoria album it doesn't really fit there but i'm running out of room um i hope i'm not talking too close to the mic by the way uh it's a very sensitive mic um, yeah, so that's, you know, Jesus and Mary Chain, Lords of Acid. Oh, I put some electronic stuff in here, too. That's kind of underground, like Lords of Acid and stuff like that, Ministry. Uh, tons of Twilight Sad. VNV Nation, Pop Lead Itself, one of my favorite bands. Um, down here, oh, sorry if my finger's in the way. We got Depeche Mode is all these two cubes and more. There's some up here. Uh, and down here... I got two cubes of Duran Duran. Uh, and you can insert comedy joke right now, but I don't care. I've been following them since I was a young a youngster. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge Duran Duran fan. Go cool figure. So that's all the vinyl I have by Duran Duran, I believe. And there's kind of side projects 
Uh, there's some pretty, pretty rare stuff in, in these two cubes here, same as Depeche Mode. Up here, and I wish I, oh, maybe I will show you my boxes. Hmm. These are all 12 inch singles. This whole rack is 12 inch singles. Dance singles, anything you can think of that's a 12 inch single that's there. Not only that, um, oh God, I wasn't gonna show you guys this, but see this third man flag? It's um, hiding one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of 12 inch singles. U-Haul boxes, these are these um, the small ones, but they're not really small. These are all 12 inch singles. The bar <laughs> boxed up. Um, I had a flood in this room not that long ago actually, so I've uh, elevated my racks. I gotta get these off the floor because it's usually in springtime. Um, the sump pump in our house sometimes gets frozen and doesn't pump in time. Uh, we've had it fixed and it didn't work. So um, the original carpet in here we had to rip right out. I think I had photos of that on Facebook. But I've been just put you know random carpets down. It's really nice in here now actually. Um, yeah, that's my music room. That's like I said. Uh, I am so incredibly fortunate that I have one room just dedicated to vinyl. The previous owners of this house, this was a study, I believe, for one of their kids. So it was kind of like an office thing, but not with me. So, um, actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna move that. I have a box under there of some pretty valuable records that I keep separate or in the, underneath the turntable there. You want a turntable? Make me an offer. Up here, here's my uh, backup turntable, which is a Project Debut Carbon. And I used to have it on the main rack, but I decided to put this here and uh, just pull it out when I want to listen to it. I put a brand new Grado Green cartridge on it. There you go. Which I think I'm cheating myself by just letting that thing sit there. I should put it on. Uh, it's a Grado um, Green 2. I should preface that by saying there's a, an original, then there's an improved one. I think the shielding is a little bit better in the, in the Green 2. Hmm. Cassettes. I don't know what's, I don't even know what's in there. I seriously don't know what's in here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Over here, I have my mini discs. All my spare blank mini discs I hear, I have lots of those. I pick up blank tapes when I see them at thrift stores. Um, invariably, someone will ask me, oh, these are all mini discs too, actually. Um, Iron Maiden tin full of little tools, for, uh, my turntable fixing tools are in there. Um, I pick up blank tapes when I can, because um, like I said invariably somebody will ask me if I have any blank tapes, and I do. Um, earlier, I said, um, I think this might be the right one. That tape deck took, uh, would, would play metal tapes, and I should have said metal type cassettes, not metal as the, is in the genre. I think that's a metal, uh, I think it's type three, or I can't remember, is metal type three? I don't know. But uh, I have a couple metal type two ones there, type three anyways. And then type one, ferric, regular tape. Um, this is one of the best things I've ever found at a thrift store. It's a cleaning kit. And I'll mention this in a future video. I paid fifteen dollars for it, and for, for the use I've gotten out of it. And I gotta thank Anthony at AGK Vinyl Life for showing me how this works because I couldn't figure it out when I first got it. Um, it's drink time. Sorry. Have yourself a look. Okay, so um, it is very dry down here. I apologize. Okay, so I'll put this down here. Um, this is a vintage 45 box I found at a thrift store not that long ago. It came oops, filled with seven inch singles, which is empty now. Um, a cleaning kit I found at a thrift store. Audio Technica, it's a nice brush and some liquid. And then um, that's the box for my um, disc stabilizer weight thingy that you guys saw on the turntable. So that is my music room. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm very fortunate to have this music room. It's um, a source of great pleasure 
um, and give a wide little wide angle. Now, if I can just figure out how to fit another rack in here and get all this sorted out, then everything will be good. All right, so I think we're going to have to cut and uh, maybe do a little wrap up and show a couple other things back there. All right, we made it. That was uh, the Music Room Tour 2021. I hope you liked what you saw. Uh, if you have any questions about what I showed you, uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you about uh, whatever you want to ask me about. Um, as far as what I showed you and what my equipment is, um, I can't stress this enough that um, someone's music collection or their taste in music and their setup is uh, a very personal thing. It is to me anyways. So there is no right or wrong uh, setup or vinyl collection. You know what I mean? Uh, some people might kind of scoff that I have a mini disc player now, but it's all in fun. Uh, it's like someone's tattoo. You never rip on someone's tattoo because it's a very personal thing to them. And that's how I feel about people's taste in music and their choice of turntables and stuff like that and their equipment. That's a very personal thing, I believe. So, uh, uh, good for bad. This is what I have and I'm really liking it at the moment. So probably in 2022, if I make it that long, uh, it might be drastically different. I don't know. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, the Music Room Tour. Uh, you might have noticed that I've been gone for YouTube uh, for a while. I've taken a little bit of a break. Um, we had uh, Death in the Family. Uh, some people who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, uh, friends I have on there, you guys will know what I'm talking about. And then uh, this week I lost a really good friend of mine. So, um, yeah, it's been really trying times. And Christmas was really not the greatest this year. Um, COVID has a lot to do with it. And couldn't see family. And our kids are are gone. So it's uh, it was kind of a whole hum time. So I decided to take a break from YouTube. I just didn't really have the motivation to do anything. But um, And the funny thing about this music room tour is that this is the third time. This is the third time I filmed this video because I, I would film it, kind of maybe not be happy with it, but then I would add a new piece of equipment or swap something out. I thought I was happy, I'd film, I'd film it again, and then I would add something different, and then I would want to show that. So this is my third attempt and final attempt um, of doing this video. So I'm quite happy with what I have right now. So um, I'm going to wrap it up by saying I hope you liked it, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for... Uh, surpassing 3,000 subs. So smash that like button and subscribe. There, there I am being a pro. Uh, I was hoping to demonstrate the DBX decoder, um, but maybe we'll do that at a different time. And uh, we'll listen to my... It's kind of hard to demonstrate my stereo over YouTube because it's compressed sound and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, most people are watching these on their phones. But I'm um, really, really happy with my stereo setup. And... My vinyl collection is getting uh, way too big. What I, what I didn't show you is there's another room just around the corner for where if you come down my basement, there's another kind of a, laund a laundry room where there's probably 11 more YouTube, or YouTube, there's probably 11 more U-Haul boxes of vinyl, 12 maybe, um, just sitting there. So I've got to do something, <laughs> I've got to do something with that soon. Anyways, I don't want to make this any longer than it is. Um, it's good to see you all. Not literally, but it's good. Uh, thank you for clicking on my on my video. Once again, cheers. And uh, yeah, that's it. That was my music room tour 2021. I can't believe it's 2021. And it's been almost a year of COVID. So uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm, saying, I'm stating the obvious. We all are kind of bummed out by it, but... Uh, Vinyl lives on, and I kind of a little bit regret not doing vinyl fine videos anymore because I've had, <laughs> as, as you've seen the floor in my uh, music room, I, I've had some uh, great, great hauls that I <laughs> have no one to show now. So um, maybe I'll rethink that. And I'll leave a comment. If you think I'm a hypocrite, tell me. Or if you want me to bring back vinyl finds, tell me. Um, I don't want to be that guy that... Uh, um, I don't think cries wolf is the right term, but says you're going to do something. And then later on, you know, not that long after, you, you know, you know, um, I kind of like to stick to, stick to, a, with, you know, what, what I promise you, but if you want vinyl fine videos back, let me know and I'll, I'll consider it because, uh, even though it's COVID, I've had some amazing finds. So, um, 
there you go. I should end it now. So that was Music Room Tour, once again, Music Room Tour uh, 2021. For the last time, cheers, and last time in this video. Uh, stay safe, please. Wear a mask, um, social distance, and I want everyone to be around to see Music Room Tour 2022 when I hope the COVID's all done and everyone is all safe and sound. So take care of yourself, please, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.